Well, actually, start the chatting. After classes, when we go, we go home together since most of us from, are from Valencia. During the ride home, some passengers glare at us for being too noisy, but some of them will actually say, Kung sa mga mga pagkakas ko, yung mga mga kapanigya o jeep. Loud as we were, we were also the most competitive. We were active in the school's activities. All of the dance contests, and you mean dance, Christmas dance, rival dance, mga trip B, M-Top, Club Fistables, Palaro, Cheer Dance, you and Tanan, among the Apilang Big Top Awards. In all of these, we gave our all and did things to the best of our ability. In the barcada, the drama never really goes away. As for us, we have this so-called open forum where in conversations we are confrontational. We say petty things like lying pain is only like beyond to me during this trip. Or the link saying what the nina nikita take care of this part to not a problem na ko. Or the story of the story story is in my friend pet. Crash would not be in crash. like the Arcada is falling apart. During our last year in high school, we created a time capsule. The time capsule contained a little secret. We wrote letters to one another and we placed it in a container together with the biscuit. Ayan, masalah tong edad ang yung biscuit. Uy, kailan mo mo biscuit? Wala ka sa inyo ka asa. Sa inyo ka ko yung USB sa mga biscuit. The biscuit contained our pictures and videos. We buried that time capsule at the back of the room, you know, and we vowed to come back after four years, retrieve the time capsule, and read the letters. True enough, we did come back after four years, but couldn't find the time capsule anymore. We don't know what happened to it, so in case na may makalutan diha, makalang plastic, may na mga letter, may mga kuwan na mo, ang mga to, no, ay na mo to sa una, we can't help but laugh at this time that this actually helps strengthen our world. We learn to accept each other in spite of our differences. Look for friends who have the same goals as you. All of us dream in dreams. We constantly remind each other of the people we want to become and inspire one another. When our friend loses heart, words of encouragement are always ready. There are 15 of us and I'm proud to say that we persevered and all of us are professionals now. Six of us are medical doctors, four are nurses, three are in the accounting or finance department, a teacher, and a web developer. We've had our time and we've made a lot of memories. We also make yours with your friends. Treasure this moment because these will bind you. You will see after 10 or 20 years, the true friends you had in high school will still be there. Some of my friends are already abroad and we have our own different lives to live. But no matter the distance, the years that have gone by, or how infrequent we communicate as life brings us physically apart and over, the friendship that we have formed since high school still bonds us. In between our busy schedules, we find time to see each other and it always seems like high school just happened yesterday, when in fact for us, it was already 15 years ago. Our friendship is the kind that even when we don't talk every day, we know we have each other's best in good times and in bad. Just like in high school, we celebrated for the times when a friend got the high spots, or when someone received good grades for making a good turn paper. We were there when a friend got heartbroken or failed in an exam. Our lives then and now might be different. Our victories now may be bigger and our problems may be worse. But how we are in high school and today never changed. We matured, yes, but the bond that we had will forever remain unchanged. Not only have we pursued the friendship that we have made as a barcada, but as a section as well. From Diamond to Gemini to Krypton to Jupiter to some getting married and having kids, we have remained solid. In high school, it's normal to have crushes. And since face-to-face -face guys are back, 
I know this is one of the things you're excited about. You can now see them every day. Unfortunately for some, my dad will schedule the face-to-face class in the crush so sad gamay. Anyway, my friends in high school are beautiful. And by this, I mean campus crush levels. I have this friend who is pretty, fair skin, and most of the guys admire her. The inferior is advantages with the I know. My guy tells me to his brilliant and math and physics once had a crush on her. I remember during physics class, Nami assigned a parasol to I know. Nagulat na ito, ang classmate lang ko na bright ka ay kaya mamuk niya laging sa ilahaw. Pagabot niya, yan pa kayo amun ito sa kasahan. Kapit na mag-isi ang pakiti, naghantay ni Gabira. Natingan na may kanyang friend na baka, siya yung nakaano. Di ay kibiguhatan din siya o ngahig niyo paper na ay mga answers. Ikaw na lang siya musulat sa iyong pangalan o ipas. So, so niya kami nito, mga di tayo gapa, mga kuan. Uy, nalitawan, nalitawan niya, good kaya dito sa bilim. Nagot kayo mo siya po. Ano yan siya dito, sila siya ang pangalan, harap na niya ng chakmatita. So, ngayon na dyan pa, wapa. Binapod ba yan ang crush mo, especially when your friends know about it. So, mong here and there. Back in high school, when it's time to go home, especially during Fridays, dagan kayo magulat di hatagi na mga mag-uyab. Mga pag-uyab, mga crush. Tingnan nyo, magsabay na pa doon ang market. I've also experienced that. This guy had a crush on me sa unan sa buto na niya akong amiga. Before na ulit, tingnan na ko na mong friend niya. Ayaw ko dahil yung mga baklay ka rito ka sa kaya na kung kuning akuhan. Sabi na kung kuning ang padrong market. Ngayon din na siya ako ay sa balaka pa rin yung ikabiyaan niya. Pati nga na lang ako taot-taot, lahing na akong tapad. Kapag na nakakrush ako, nitapad siya sa padrong market. Wait, ang sumansya. Ang bigyan ko sa mga friend kayo ko. Maligyan ko kung kinsa yan di support ako or kapag ganahan ako. It's normal that you go through this, but please don't take your romantic relationship seriously at this time. If you have a crush, it's okay. Make your crush as an inspiration to do good in your studies. But as much as possible, kumahin mo, please some of them. Yeah. Now how to balance school and love life. Be responsible. You're still young. You have a life ahead of you. You still have a lot of things to discover. Learn to prioritize. At this time, having a boyfriend or girlfriend is not your priority. This is a time when your hormone death for a bigger battlefield soon, and you don't want to waste it. You have to have laser focus on your goals as a student, maybe short term or long term. Focus on that research or essay that you have yet to finish. Focus on how to be a good leader in your school house. Focus on passing your exam. Focus on graduating. Focus on learning. When I was in high school, a certain guy expressed his interest in me and even asked for my advisors and my parents' permission. So, I got my advisors to my head up on the mission. I got my head up on the mission. I got my head up on the mission. A plus came in on the head up on the mission. No, so, I got a junior of the school staff. It's not that I don't like him, or my parents prohibited me from having that kind of relationship, no. It was my choice. I chose to put my studies first. You should too. Be a responsible student. A student that can inspire, and be that senior your juniors will look up to. When I became a licensed doctor, I have had relatives and friends who are parents coming to me saying, at the very good group cake talk, I left the rock on Amon Pangana for his name. To be honest, I have never really appreciated such compliments for me until one person messaged me. She was a senior high school student at that time. Her words were, At the end, I inspired you to say in your heart. Gusto nyo ba mo tayo sa iyo ha in the future? I was genuinely touched by her words. I never knew I could meet such an impression. So be a good example. Sometimes, we never really know who we are and who fool us. 
by the actions that you do. Lastly, have a good relationship with your teachers. Appreciate their efforts. Admit them, because really I'm never, not having them teach you in the flesh. There are parents in school, and parents always want the best for their children. So listen, obey, and learn from them. High school comes only once. You are lucky that you're in your own prestigious school. This institution will prepare you for greater things. You will graduate secure of yourselves with the standards that you have lived up to from seeing your nature. Make the most of your time as face-to-face classes are by. Reach out to those who you have missed for the past two years. Make new friends. Make new memories. We never know when somebody will have to hear about something. Congratulations in celebrating this occasion party. Always remember, no matter what will you become, no matter where life takes you, high school never ends. Thank you and have a good day.